Hi and welcome to my YouTube video on antenna analyzer comparison. My name is Ed, KJ4FGI, and I want to introduce you to the capabilities of two antenna analyzers. One is the Fox Delta. It's the Alpha Alpha Zulu 0914 Alpha. I had a YouTube video on this which I pulled because I wasn't happy with it. And now I have the opportunity to redo the video and also show you a comparison between two antenna analyzers. We have the Fox Delta and we got an MR100. Uh, the Fox Delta covers a frequency range of 160 meters all the way up to 10 meters. Uh, the MR100 is um, 160 to uh, 6 meter band. Um, Fox Stellar Antenna Analyzer is $54 as a kit, comes with a case, and for another $10 you can purchase it built, or if you have a disability or a senior citizen, they'll build it for you for free. Fox Delta also comes with the option of adding a Bluetooth module, which is right here, has the option of a Bluetooth module. The module comes in two halves, one half interfaces with the antenna analyzer and that's from Fox Delta that's the bottom half the upper half you'll buy that on um, on eBay it's a very easy kit to build there are surface mount components but they come pre-soldered on a PC board just Google Fox Delta and their website will pull up Anyway, the MR100 comes fully assembled in 6414, and you can download software for it. Just Google SARK, S-A-R-K 100 software. Uh, they don't show you software with this, but yeah, the SRK 100, I'll show you two softwares that I found on the web that'll work that. Matter of fact, we'll get to that one right now. The problem with this uh, analyzer that I found is... We'll go to 17 meter band and see the SWR is 355. Well, if I twist this a little bit, and I thought it was my connection. Well, anyway, go ahead. Now you're not going to show a one, well, 187. That's about right. It's about 1.5. Um, I tried, I changed the connectors, I did everything I could. Um, I don't believe it's in here because it works fine with the Fox Delta, so it might be uh, a solder, soldering connection on that or not. But anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to put the port number down there. Once you plug this in, it's going to assign a port number. It's port number 6. Uh, we're going to go to 17 meters. And you can either go from 7, you can do either one. Or you could even do a wide band. I'm just going to go to 17 meters and we'll go to analyze. And now, of course, it's not working. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess it would help if I did uh, put it into PC Link, right? There we go. You see all the information that popped up over here. It's telling me 3.47. 3.58, no less WR, no, I don't think so. Um, and then it's going to show you up on a graph. The SWR, 3.5 is your regular SWR. Then, of course, you got uh, R ohms, X ohms, Z ohms, and RL, decibel loss. The sad part about this is uh, it's not giving me an accurate one right now. There's also another software. You can download, and this has the uh, Smith chart in it. Well, what I'll do is let's go to 1800. I don't think that I haven't worked with this one that much, so I really don't know. Go to 18 as a start frequency, and then we'll go to 18168 as a finish. We have to open a port. Uh, 
Oh, it didn't show. It's supposed to show COM6. Let's close this down again. Let's close it down. Try it again. There you go, COM6, open the port, go to scan. Scanning the frequencies right here. And there it is on the Smith chart. It'll come up on this chart in a minute. There you go, barely see it. But see it's showing it up around by three, which is wrong. Uh, and then of course the problem lies here. Now let me put this down. My apologies. I don't have a. Uh, both of my tripods are being used for antenna projects. What is nice about the Fox Delta is that it doesn't. You don't have to look up a port. Just plug it in. Okay, unit is found. Put it over here. Let's widen it up. I'm going to do a full sweep on this. Now, this only does the uh, SWR. I mean, it'll tell you your percentage loss. Um, your ERP in your SWR, the frequency. You can start this software at any frequency you want. I'm going to actually go down. I'm going to use a full scan. I'm going to use it at regular speed. And I'm going to go to one shot. Now you have your frequencies, your, well, actually your bands right here, and you can actually move this to anywhere along the line, and it'll actually give you all the information right down here. Um, you can 20 meter band, let's go to 15 meter band, 15, this is going to be right to 1.24. Now I'll tell you, we'll go to the 17 meter band alone. Just do one shot. There you go. Right here is one point five. Goes to 1.49, 1.5, 1.52, And see, this is very accurate right here. Um, and of course, it's going down. But anyway, they were we were doing 17 meters. It shows you this one's correct. I got to find out what the problem is with this unit right here. Now I have to try to see if it's a bad solder joint or not. Um, but anyway, with the Fox Delta, here's the Bluetooth. Bluetooth is going to plug right on into the back over here, and you're going to put external power over here. Uh, once you're using external power, you're going to have to. There's like a little uh, pin thing that you got to switch over uh, every time you do that. So, what I did was I just put a switch on the outside, and if I'm going to go Bluetooth, I'll flip the switch this way and USB that way. All right, I'm not going to. There's not much more that I can really tell you about this. If you do have any questions, don't have a problem, email me. I'll answer them. Um, and I'll even help you out on where to get the software for uh, either one of them. The Fox Delta, everything is there. The software, one thing good about Fox Delta is that they update the firmware and they update the software. 
Um, not sure about this one. This one's pretty well new to me. All right, thank you uh, for watching this video. It's KJ4FGI. We're clear.